So Saudi Arabia, a few years ago, Saudi Arabia, uh, they made a publicly traded company for their oil business, and it's the third largest business in the world. And uh, their supply of oil is greater than the next two people in the oil business, I think, combined. Like, I think, I think Exxon and Shell, if you combine their oil reserves, it's not even half of what Saudi Arabia has. I mean, <laughs> what's that company called? It's Saudi Aramco. Saudi Aramco. Yeah. Gotcha. And they produce a heck of a lot of uh, natural gas. They call it flare gas because they just burn it off because, well, because they don't care because all they want is the oil. Mm-hmm. And they are in talks with Bitcoin mining companies. They want to capture all of that um, flare gas and use it to power generator to make electricity and mine Bitcoin. Off Partner the, with the Bitcoin miners or do their own thing? You just think? do their own thing. Or start prob- mining Bitcoin for themselves and using that method so they yep. earn zero power, their power bills. Stuff. Yeah, so it's green power, right, right. basically. Completely change the narrative on it and you're not going to have shit for power bill. On the surface, you look at that and you go, oh, well, yeah, what's the big deal about that? Well, the big deal about that is anywhere in the world that you trade oil, you buy oil, you sell oil, it is settled in U.S. dollars. If Saudi Arabia, who is the largest producer of oil in the world, start mining Bitcoin, why would they trade oil in U.S. dollar? And somebody's going to comment this. They're going to say because the U.S. government tells them that that's what they got to do. And you see, they tried this back, I think, in the 70s when the U.S. went off the gold standard. Mm -hmm. So 50 years ago, ago this month, the United States went off the gold standard. Yep. And we've been on what they call fiat currency ever since. So, in other words, a dollar is backed by anything. Pre seventy one, a dollar was backed by gold. Yep. All, basically, all world currencies were on the gold standard. I think. Um, after that, Nothing. it's it's based on a promise. Yeah. And, <laughs> but so the U.S. So when that when we did that, we went off the gold standard. Uh, so, OPEC. Yep. They didn't want to trade oil in U.S. dollars, and the U.S. government basically told them that either they were going to do it or uh, we were going to. I guess, march in there, sail in there, whatever, and make them do it. And, you know, the oil embargo went on. I, I don't know. I was I was one or two years old, you know, or I was two years old in 72. Um, but today the difference is if they're mining the Bitcoin and you get enough countries that start to go to that standard, I think the U.S. will have a really hard time. Yeah, because if everybody else is like, yeah, we're down with it, Saudi. We're, gonna, we're rocking with you. And then U.S. isn't. He, yeah. They're going to be like, screw you. They, Saudi could put, our, put their boot on our neck and say, well, we're not doing business with you unless you do it our way. Because everybody else is going to do it our way. Well, and that's right. And you, we were at a point of oil independence. The problem with our oil independence was the cost of production for most shale in the United States is above $40. And I want to say even for deep water, uh, Gulf of Mexico is close to $40. Do you know what Saudi's cost for a barrel of oil is? Hmm. Less, somewhere around 10 bucks, a little <laughs> less than 10 bucks. Why? It's just, they just ha- there's just so much to get that it's just... Basically, you shovel the sand out of the way and you can start pumping oil. I mean, it's yeah. very close to the surface. Right. It's very easy to get. Labor's cheap. Cost production. Very low. Stuff. Yeah. And you offload it right into the Suez Canal and off you go. If you displace, say, 2 or 3% of the, of the consumption of oil for gasoline, you know what that does to the price of oil? And yes, the Saudis have the lowest cost there is. But if they didn't think, if they weren't worried that the consumption of oil world over was going to go down, they wouldn't be interested in Bitcoin. Yeah, that's right. They, they would have zero they're, interest they're in it. They're smarter than what... Yep. You know, they're smart. They know that yep. it's a little it's a little concerning that the C V thing's coming.